This is Tank's vlog for July 27, 2018, wrapping up the day in sports. The uh, Mets are on the road, uh, beginning a road trip, and the Yankees are coming home and now feeling some pain. Just a day after they announced Gary Sanchez will probably miss uh, all of August. They've now lost Aaron Judge for probably three weeks as he got hit in the hand during a 7-2 win over the Royals. And as a chip fracture. Uh, chip fractures aren't that serious, uh, you would think. So, the hope is for the Yankees is that he'll only be missed three weeks. But they also now have injury concerns over Sonny Gray, just as they acquired Jay Happ from the Toronto Blue Jays. And a day after they've uh, acquired Zach Britton. Zach Britton today, by the way, made his debut with the Yankees, throwing a perfect eighth inning. In their, in the, as I mentioned before, 7-2 win over the Royals. The Yankees actually did gain a ground today on the uh, Red Sox, who began a uh, four-game homestand uh, series against the uh, Minnesota Twins and suffered a 2-1 loss. As Fernando Rodney, the ageless one, struck out Jackie Bradley Jr. with the bases loaded to end the game. Today, their Mets game was a comedy of errors. Fortunately, the comedy was all on the side of Pittsburgh. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do when your team looks like they're playing like a drunken sailor? Errors on the field. Errors at the plate. Errors everywhere you look. They play the, they were drunk. And the Mets actually scored 12 runs. Steve Matz did not have a great game today, but wow, he actually pitched good enough to get a win. Uh, as Drupal Cabrera got some big hits, Wilmer Flores got some big hits. As the Mets scored 12 runs. In other words, they basically scored as many runs as they usually score in a week. Elsewhere today, it was the Chicago Cubs with a ninth inning rally to beat the Arizona Diamondbacks as uh, Boat and Anthony Rizzo hit back-to-back -back home runs in the ninth inning. Rizzo's home run, of course, was a walk-off winner. It was the Angels' 12-8 winners over the uh, White Sox. The Phillies uh, clobbered the Reds 9-4. The Rays uh, edged the Orioles 4-3. The Nationals got back to 500, beating the Marlins 10-3. Manny Bachado hit his first home run as a Dodger. As Rich Hill was sharp on the mound, as the Dodgers beat the Braves 8-2. While the A's remain red hot, beating the Rangers 7-6. Athlete Oakland is now 61 and 43 and are on the doorstep of that second wild card spot in the American League, right behind the Mariners. Oh, poor Seattle. Will they ever make the playoffs? And uh, one game that's just about to go final the uh, Brewers have a 7 3 lead over the Giants. I don't think the uh, Brewers will be blowing that one. Of course, if they do, this will be on Frozen Takes, so you have familiar with my permission to use it if the Brewers do blow this game, but I don't think they will. And let's see, today's three stars are Rich Hill, who allowed three hits in uh, seven innings against the uh, Braves as the Dodgers won. As Drew Bo Cabrera had four RBI in the Mets win over the Pirates. And Kyle Gibson, who went eight strong innings as the Twins stunned the Red Sox in Boston. Today's birthday shout-out goes to Ryan Tanny Hill, who turns 30. You want to talk about Last Chance Cafe? That's it. What that's what it is this year for Ryan Tanny Hill. Missing all of last year with his knee uh, surgery. This is put up or shut up for uh, Tanny Hill. Because if he doesn't uh, doesn't show any improvement, if he doesn't 
do anything, uh, you could bet your bottom dollar the Dolphins will be looking for a new quarterback at the end of the season. And we take a look back 25 years ago to a tragedy in Boston when Reggie Lewis, who collapsed in a playoff game, trying to come back, collapsed again and this time died of a heart attack. So check out the story of Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia where sports history lives. And if you haven't yet, please listen to the podcast. Allow me to be frank, it was a terrific one this week on SoundCloud and iTunes. Good day.